Hello my fellow spuds, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. So today we're going to be playing RimWorld, specifically the Ideology DLC, which I have just got, and I've got, I think, within about a minute of it being released, to be honest. If you haven't played it before, it's a story generator survival sim, colony sim, action adventure. It's it's everything, basically. If you haven't got it, just, just get it. Just there's no, <laughs> I can't stress enough how good this game is. It's got everything. It's in depth. There's if you really want to get into it, there's micromanaging, or you can just kind of let it run itself, let it run its course, and see what happens. It's it's very very fun, and all the mods that you can get, it's so heavily modded on Steam and outside of Steam that you can basically make anything you want. Whether you want to do a ultra high tech run, whether you want to do a, a low tech. Neolithic run, or whether you just want to open up your own restaurant and have customers come up, come in, it's uh yeah, it's entirely up to you what you want. I have also installed a lot of mods, so mainly the ones that are released at the moment. So it'd be like um the Vanilla Expanded series, a couple of random random bits and bobs. I'll include all of these in the description below, just the links and things. I might just create a Steam Workshop link or something and put them all in there. Right, I'm planning on doing the Rich Explorer scenario, just because I've got a fun little idea what to do with this. So you, for this, you start off with a single character, chosen out of eight. You've got quite a lot of resources, random pet, charge rifle, stuff like that. And basically just make your, your own way with a single character. It is difficult and challenging to use a single character, so I don't advise doing this on your first playthrough. But I think for the idea I've got, it'll be quite fun. Right, we're going to go with Randy Random, because of course Randy Randy is God. And um, we'll do Strive and Survive, Reload Anytime, just in case anything happens on my end. Now this is new to 1.3, really excited about this. You can change the factions that you have. I'm probably going to leave it as is, just the timing. Actually, we will add, we'll add the nudist tribe in, why not? Might add a little bit of fun, fun killing spreeness in the future. Um, we will limit the planet size down to tiny. Just because this will be better performance for me. We will have the population as crowded. But what's great... Sorry, I forgot to mention. What's great about this is that you can take off the mechanoid and insect factions. It means you won't get raided by either of them. You could get rid of the outlander factions and just have tribes. So you could have a proper Neolithic or tribal run. You used to have to use mods for this. So that's just... I just love that they've incorporated that into vanilla. Anyway, let's jump in. So this is our world. Oh, I don't know where we're going to go. This will be exciting. I think we'll start off... Is this all jungle? It is. Right, okay. Let's start off fairly tame. That's uh, Let's start off down here, I think. And we're not going to stay still, so don't worry. This isn't where we're going to settle full time. But for my for my playthrough, we're going to we're going to be traveling a lot. So um at least for the beginning of it anyway. So excited about that. Now, on to the Beautiful part. <laughs> now on to the main part of ideology, where you create your ideologian. Is that how you say that? Ideologian. 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 There we go. <laughs> so, these are all pre-generated random ones that you can get. They're pre-generated per playthrough. But we're going to want to create our own custom one. We're going to go with Archist. So, Architects of the True Gods. They know the moral structure of the universe, and serving them is how we connect with them. You could also go animist, where spirits are everything, and you worship the trees in the sky. Ideological, where there's no gods. Buddhism, Christian, Islamic, Hindu, which are based around real-world ones. Embodied theist, where the gods walk among us. Or abstract theist, where the gods don't have a physical form, but they are everywhere at once. Now, here we go. Now, these are the memes that you can choose for your ideologian. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go with transhumanist we are going to go with human primacy we're also going to go with collectivism and not sure i want any of the high impact ones this playthrough i am tempt i was tempted to go for the cannibal pain is virtue playthrough but i think that's kind of too obvious so i'm planning on going something a little bit different uh raider that'll do there we go so you could do animal parent Personhood, which is where animals have the same rights as humans do, so that'd be quite good if you want to go down like the nature, a hippy dippy playthrough. You can also do tree connection, high life, nature primacy, so that that all works really well. 
Cannibal, pain is virtue. Um, and anything and um, supremacy means that you could basically have a cannibal cult where you go around raiding people and having slaves, which will be quite fun. Rancher, where you have to eat meat, that also goes quite well with cannibal, but it also means you could raise some animals at the same time. I think that works quite well. Uh, blind set, where you uh, the blind are elevated and honoured. Interested in doing a playthrough like that at some point. It's a very strange, different one. Or you could just do like high life transhumanists who are like raving, raving high tech people, which sounds quite fun. There's so many different playthroughs you can do with these, and I'm sure modded wise, some more of these will be added in the future. I'm guessing anyway, because it's it it has so much potential to be modded to the extreme that it sounds extremely fun. But anyway, this is going to be a very strong overall impact from what we've got. So we're going to go transhumanist, where yeah, they want to merge with machines and anything like that is really approved and honoured. We're going to do Raider, where we're going to need to go out and raid at least every once every 25 days. Human Primacy, where... Um, oh, bonding is disapproved. Oh, okay, maybe I don't want that. Does that mean we can't bond with animals? That just seems a bit... Maybe let's, let's leave that off then. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it as that, just for the first playthrough. It's still a strong playthrough. So Collectivism, where we our work drive is tripled. We have um, Marriage Name, Keep Names... We, as a person's role is to serve the community, we'll have Raider and Transhumanist. I think that works quite well. And we'll, uh, let's say that's done. Here we go. Arc Archism. I think that's that's quite apt. Humanity's pursuit of technology gave birth to the all-powerful architects as the rightful next step in development of consciousness. The architects have no interest in judging us one by one. They await a single person who can demonstrate our worthiness by acting morally as one. In the end, humanity will use the architect relic Arco keepsake to uncover a weakness of the architects and plunder their wisdom and wealth. I, I like that. <laughs> That's all good with me. Raiding is respected. So we don't like common workers. We take from the weak as the strong should. Failing to do so will be a mark of shame. So. Less than 25 days since. So we need to raid every 25 days basically. Um, Modi prolification is. Approved. I thought it would be honoured, but apparently it's not. Well, that's fine. Um, age reversal is demanded. Biosculpture accelerated. This is all because of our transhumanist. We are going to want to do execution horrible if innocent. I think that's that's pretty good going. I think that's fine with me. Work drive is tripled because of our collectivism. Um, cannibalism is horrible. Organ use. Yeah, organ use. Acceptable. That's fine. Skull spike desired. Yeah, skull and a spike symbolize superiority. Sacrifice and horrible. Slavery is acceptable. We could have that as honourable. But no, we'll, we'll leave it as is. Physical love, free. We're fine. Um, yeah, I think that's all good, really. Uh, leader, exochrome leader. So he has the ability to leader speak, work drive, command, and blah, blah, blah. He has access to loads of rituals. So these are all the different roles that you can give your colonists. These are all the different rituals we are going to want to do. do a Sky Lantern Festival as well, why not? Just just a bit of fun. So we've got our funeral, which is normal standard Sky Lantern Festival. It's quite fun. Social Festival and Gladiator Brawl. Um, our buildings, we're going to have ritual seats. So we're going to have pews, a logo of Ar Archism, which is a normal building. We can add also another building. Let's just do a large sculpture. Unity form, there we go. Now our relics, we've got a lock focus pickaxe. We've got an arco keepsake, which is a cryo pistol. And a techno keepsake, which is a lever action rifle. <laughs> it's not very techno it's not very techno keepsake, is it? A, a a lever action rifle, but it's funny. Um so noble is to use arco tech weapons, despise Neolithic, so we don't want to use anything Neolithic standard. Our venerated animal is the Arctic Coyote. Sure, why not? And preferred apparel is Slice Cap. Okay, that's um, that's fine. If, if they prefer to wear a Slice Cap, I'll, I'll give them a Slice Cap. Right, let's go next and choose our colonist. Right, okay, here's our starting character, Nathan Morgan. So he's a disaster survivor. He was uprooted from marauders, attacking his family farm, destroying machinery and killing farmhands and beasts alike. After the death of all he knew, he was left in ruins to fend for himself. He's also an archaeologist, so he was trapped 
In an uninspired life, one day he jumped on a ship to learn archaeology and see the universe. He learned how to survive. Also learned about people, although he understood the dead better than the living. So, this is going to be our character. He's going to be kind of like an Indiana Jones type style. We're going to go round base to base, looting and pillaging the ancient structures and what he can find and see how it goes. That's the plan anyway. We'll see if it works or not, but who knows? We'll, uh, we will see. Let us begin. The neuro simulations, horror games, and free orgies were never enough for you. You wanted more. The grit, the consequences of real life. They talked about it in history books. You wanted to know what real challenges and consequences felt like. Now, after a journey of decades in cryosleep, you land on this unknown rim world. Real consequences await you. Here we are. We have Nathan explorer apparently and we have his trusty sidekick the corgi mugsy <laughs> of course why, why wouldn't you have a trusty sidekick named mugsy um right come on then pick up pick up that there we go you've got your trusty charge rifle we're gonna want to pick up a few of them just in case so i think what we're gonna want to do is we're probably gonna need a pack animal at some point just to hold all this stuff because we've got a lot of stuff going on um, what's his, I didn't actually see what his animals are like, probably fairly poor, they are horrendous, okay, as per our main part of this series, let's attempt to break into the ancient structure and see what lies in, in wake, Muggsy, you better stand back, right, okay, run, run away, come on, no Muggsy, no, don't hit Muggsy. Okay, it's fine. You'll, you'll be fine. My sweet Muggsy. I'll fix you up. Right. Run and gun. There we go. Right, quickly. Go stabilize Muggsy. Right, I've only got one left, and we've got some ancient cryo sleep. We've got... Uh, what the hell is that? Hermetic crate. Ooh. Never seen one then, that must be new. Excellent. Right, stabilize Muggsy. Okay, you'll be fine. Oh god, okay, it's up there. Okay, slow down a bit. Problem is with dagger sounds is they are quite quick. Oh, did it. What did we shoot off? Rear metallic plating. Okay, cool. So we did it. We've got some advanced components, we've got some tech prints, got psychic cornucopia, got an animal pulsar. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we're going to want to open up these ancient cryosleep carsets, see what's in there. Hopefully it's no one who wants to kill us. Right then, Nathan the Explorer, let's um, shoot one of these cryo caskets and see what we've got in store. Okay, we've got Freddy, who's a sheriff. Physically dull, tycoon ugly. That's pretty cool. But Justice, the only one who's actually aggressive, who's fast learner cow, but he's really good at crafting and shooting. Charles, Charles Z, desensitized fisherman, nimble, amazing at medical and social. Decker, Layton, what's your uh, health like? Five hours. And Fish, the dead guy. Okay. Try and take out Nathan, no, uh, Justice then. He's got an advanced bionic armor. I need him. There we go. Okay, he's got. Excellent. Right, what we're going to want to do quickly is... Can we deconstruct... How quick are you at chopping down a tree? Should we let you go? I don't know how good you are. What do you have on you? Uh, you've got 40 plastil and marine boots. I mean, that would be ideal. How close are you to cutting that tree down? How close are you to death? Five hours... 18 hours, you're already dead. What do you have on you, and what, what is your skill? I'm Stomach Nervous Tycoon. I could probably let you go. You've got three advanced components, though. I, I can't let you go, I'm sorry. Um, Come on. You any closer to cutting that down? There we go. How close are you to dying? Three hours. Right, okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to have to let them go. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to let him go. I'm going to have to stabilize you. Rescue you. Right, okay. Come on. Okay. Rescue you. You're fine. That's a, let's make a little door just to give ourselves some extra security. Lovely. And that's uh chuck everything in here. Yeah, because we're going to need to haul all of this. Right, you're alright, Muggsy. You're doing alright. Oh, that's biocoded. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't be. Oh, but if she survives, that is her gun. Yeah, what do you have on you? Um, what do you have on you, actually, Leighton? Let's have a quick look. You've got flat goggles, nothing else. Synthread pants. Okay, that's a strip you. Strip you. So, although it is... Yeah, it's tainted, but it's much better than what it would have been without that. Uh, try that one as well. Yeah, what do we get for that? Is it minus 14? Hmm... Okay, maybe we'll drop a, few, a bit of it. Minus 10. I can, uh, on a minus 8, I can deal with that. Charlesy has recovered and decides to leave. Um, body modder desensitized iron wield with good intellectuals crafting. Oh no, hang on. Wrong one. That's me. <laughs> um, Charlesy, what's yours? Desensitized fisherman nimble. N um, no, I don't think you understand. Um, y you're not leaving. We'll see what Leighton has to say. But if Charlesy attempts to leave, I think um, I think we might have to keep him here. Right, but it was a pretty good haul to us from the first time. We got this tech print. Got a psychic cornucopia. Oh, we haven't opened this hermetic crate. Let's have a look, see what that is. Um, oh, they both decide to leave. Right, okay, you're um, you're now for uh, prisoners. Yeah. Sorry, but um, yeah, r rules is rules. You destroyed his leg. Why? Chance to arrest her. Oh, well, at least she went willingly. Oh, she saw you literally tear his leg off. You just punched his leg. You're ferocious, you are. Right, do you have actually anything on you? No, you're fine. Right, okay. Let's unlock the cornucopia. And a bionic leg. Oh, it couldn't get much more perfect, could it? Oh, that's that's great. Okay, well, I, I forgive you a bit more now. That's that's fine. Okay, so resistance is... Will is zero, so we can probably... We can recruit you. Warns with attempt to recruit. Attempt to recruit. Okay, that's a uh, chat. Oh, they've gone to sleep. He needs to be covered in little bandages. That's adorable. There we go. We've got Leighton. And that means that you can now equip your gun, because it's biocoded to you. And we've got ourselves a decent another character. He's good with animals, so we can finally get something to carry all our crap that we've got going on. Right, can you chat with him? Because he doesn't have a huge amount of resistance. Okay, well, he's got low mood, so he's, that's not going to help. Right, Nathan needs treatment. Okay, you need to uh, heal, heal yourself, then. We'll prioritise just doing normal industrial medicine rather than glitter world medicine. Yeah, just heal yourself. Major risk rate, Leighton, why... Um, observed corpse. Uh oh, you've got a different belief. Oh, can we can we somehow convert you? Can we? How do we convert them? Hmm. I don't know as a way of converting them, but we might have to. Observe rotten corpse and diverse thoughts. Okay, I'm wondering how easy it is then to convert her. That'll be interesting to see if it's possible. Right, it looks like... Um, yeah, it looks like we can't eat any of those meals because it sees them as prisoner related, so we're going to have to... Deconstruct that. We're going to have to make another door, I think, as soon as that's deconstructed. There we go. Okay. Door it is. Furniture. Sandstone door. Boom. Okay. Blueprint on the door. Then we'll mine this out. We'll turn it into the literally a prisoner cell. And then this can be for our colonists. A drift named Lilica has arrived and wants to join the colony. She's willing to contribute, but not leave voluntarily, claiming you have nowhere else to go. Um, sure. Why not? Come along. Your DP... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Your body purist. Right. Okay. You're, um... You're pretty much useless to this colony, to be honest. Oh, well, you can just be fodder, I guess. Um, okay. For prisoners, you can be for colonists... And you can arrest him. 
Right, melee attack him. No, melee attack him. Don't break another leg, please. Thank you. I shall rest. Okay. Right. Get rid of those. Them, and then you can eat that. Good. Excellent. All is all is all is right with the world. All right, so we've got three colonists. What are you actually good at? Construction, mining, cooking. That's pretty good, really. Um, we've got all these survival pack images, so we're all good. Let's just take apart all of these. We don't want to take apart everything, really, just so we've got as much stuff as possible. Make another bed. Extreme risk, Leighton. Because of the corpses? Yeah, it's because of the corpses. Um, okay, right, dumping ground. Um, you haul, haul that one as well. No, haul and then haul. Come on. He doesn't like the corpses. He has diverse thoughts. Yeah, I know she has diverse thoughts. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, if you've liked what you've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any feedback or suggestions for the series, just let me know down below. If you're interested, I have a Discord channel set up, so you can see that in the link and also on my homepage. We've actually done quite a lot. It's been a bit weird, but we've got three colonists, potentially a fourth one on the way. Um, we just need to get through, um, and I'm going to need to neaten up the base. So I think off-camera what I'm going to do is just going to... Hello? Oh. Okay. He will change his look. Did you even know that? You need a styling station. That's cool. Okay, well, I think... Yeah, off camera I might just let them deconstruct everything. I might make a little storage bit just so they've got some stuff to have. But I think, really, this will be it. I'll just wait for him to heal up. And hopefully we can recruit him. And then we can run away with all these goodies. And we can actually settle somewhere proper um, to have a proper base. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll take all our goodies. We will head along to this tribe to begin with. And we'll trade some stuff there. And then we'll head up to here, I think, on the way um, after trading. And we can probably settle around this area. So we've got some stuff to trade. And then we can just keep nipping back and forward, I think, to uh, to loot places, which I think will be fun. I think it'll be a really fun time having just these like looting colonists going around looting ancient structures. I think that'll be really fun. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.